St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, where I'm from, from the south side part of St. Petersburg. So growing up, it was a, a lot of rough, a lot of rough times, uh, but a very humble beginnings. Definitely something that helped me get to where I am and helped me become the man that I am today. Back in high school, man, we always had this thing called faith focus finish. Like we always, we always said that. Uh, I lived by that ever since we started saying those three words. I, lo I knew as long as I had my faith, I knew every time when I step on the track or in life in general, if I stayed focused, I knew I would get to that finish line. I knew it would always be a finish line waiting for me. So I always stayed to those three things, faith, focus, finish. As long as my faith stays strong and I stay focused, then it's gonna be a finish line for me to head towards. So I always use those and those perspectives. Cause I'm like, man, in life, what's the best thing to turn to? If you don't have nobody, if you don't have nowhere to go, you know God is always with you. And if you stay focused, you can achieve anything. And it's, it's gonna be a finish line to each outcome. I feel like faith played a big part in just not my career now, but also growing up. Uh, I found God probably like around 16 years old. Uh, I had my first injury going into my eighth grade year. I broke one of my knees and then I was just lost. I was like, man, maybe it was just, you know, me not doing what I was supposed to do. So then that next year I broke my other knee. And I was like, okay, what's, what's going on? And then I was like, maybe I'm good now. No more injuries. Let's just stay focused on what I got to get done. And then my 10th grade year in high school, I was running 100. I came out of my drive phase and then my hip broke. And I was just like, okay, you know, I, just, I was just done. I, I, I didn't want to do sports no more. I didn't want to focus on none of that. And then my mom, she always, she was like, from there on, we was like going to church and everything. And, she was just trying to get me closer and closer to the word. And then one day I just, I told my mom, I was like, I want to be baptized. You know, I want to be baptized, I want to change the ways. I don't want to be, you know, in the streets. I don't want to be doing no crazy things. I was like, I want to find God and know that it's a better way. Uh, so after that, things just changed. He started showing me signs that he is real. He started showing me a different way, a different path, a uh, way that I can motivate others. That is in my community, friends, uh, that, that probably went down the wrong path. He, he showed me ways that I can help him. Uh, as I travel around and do track meets, it also give me a platform to speak, speak to people on this topic. I think the thing that keeps me inspired and keep fighting is that I've seen what God can do front hand. Right for real, I had hurt my Achilles, I had a bone spur, and I was just going through all these different operations trying to find ways to help me get back on my feet. And it was, it was just a time where I was just like asking God, like, why, like, what's, what's going on, what's the purpose? And it kind of got me down on my feet. And I just had to remember that things happen for a reason and nothing that God does is a mistake. And it kind of brought me back into play because God knows that I love to hear, you know, people's stories and motivation from others. And so that same night that I felt down, down and out, like a bunch of people just reaching out to me, just saying like, man, you know, you motivate me, your story motivates me. And it just brought me back in the, into the line of like, why God has me doing what I'm doing. Not for the fame, the glory, it's, it's, it's for him and showing others that he is real and showing others that it, it is possible. Right now, I see my, the main scripture that I go to is uh, it's John 3.30, uh, more of him, less of ourselves, because I know like coming into you know my career or, or even just when I came out of high school being a big name, I was like, man, I'm the best, I'm, I'm doing this, you know, everybody loves me, everybody loves me, like, man, I feel like I'm the man, I feel like Superman, you know, like, I feel like I'm the one that everybody look at and everything, like, I just love them, you know, and not thinking like, man, it ain't about me. You know, and I feel like us as humans, we have to remember that like it's not about us because this this earth is only temporary. You know, this is not this is not our home. This is not what we do it for. And we have to realize that like it's bigger than us. It's gonna always be bigger than us. Nothing that we're gonna do, nothing that we can achieve is gonna be greater than what He has for us in heaven. So I have to realize that sometimes. I look like man, this material stuff is not gonna be with me at all times. So why waste it instead of trying to use it for a better purpose? You know, to help somebody and. and that's why I just think like, man, it's, it's just incredible to see what he can do. So I just have to remember like, man, it ain't about me, it's about him. So, you know, less of myself and make him greater in the purpose. Stay focused, that's that's the main goal. A lot of people get, they sway away from their past because they lose focus and they lose sight of what their dream is, what their goal is, what God has for them. They, they get off that track. And once you sway away from that past, you're gonna hit detours. That's just like if you take a trip, if you go down the wrong way, if you try to take it into your own hands and go down another exit, then you're gonna run into some issues. You may run into some problems. And that's just how 
that's how God works. If you stay on his path, everything will be smooth sailing. But if you start taking detours, you're gonna go through bumpy roads. But as long as you stay focused, you're gonna get to the finish line that you wanna head towards. If that's being a CEO, if that's being, you know, a minister to spread the word all over the world, that's to be the next best, you know, basketball player, track athlete, football player, et cetera. You know, that's, that's the things that we have to do. Uh, what's next for me is just, you know, get back healthy so I can get back on the track. Uh, one thing that I realized is that I can only do so much sitting at home, you know, you know, spreading the word and, you know, inspiring people. And I feel like it took me this injury to realize that uh, I, I think God is working on me and I know he's pushing me to get back healthy. And once I get back on the track, it's going to be a different person. I already have plans to, you know, how I'm attack the track not only with speed, but with inspiration and motivation to those who are watching. So I have a lot of things in store, a lot of ways. They're gonna definitely see a new trademark, bro, man.